Let's talk about your kidneys. So a dude walks in, they have generalized edema, they have four plus protein on urine analysis. That should make us think of a nephrotic syndrome because there's heavy proteinuria and edema. Cool beans. Now, the second thing we do is we ask why this patient has nephrotic syndrome. Let's say that they're a 25-year-old and they have a history of poorly controlled rheumatoid arthritis. Ooh. Well, long-standing inflammatory diseases are going to make you think of amyloidosis. So this rheumatoid arthritis, the second part of the question, cues us into the chronic inflammation. And the chronic inflammation is going to cause an increase of amyloid, and then that is going to involve the kidney. Now, another thing that you're going to get you on is what does amyloid look like in the glomerulus? Well, amyloid is a misfolded protein. What you need to know about amyloid, I literally had a student say that this was tested on his exam day in December, is that this forms beta pleated sheets. That was the answer they chose. And it deposits extracellularly. So on light microscopy, amyloid appears as amorphous, eosinophilic, so like pink, right? And structuralist material. And so if they're asking, hey, what is this looking like in the glomeruli? The answer is going to be deposition of amorphous material. On a Congo red staining, you're going to have apple green bifringents. I always like to say apple green boots with the fur. If you know, you know. It's not crescent formation, right? That's rapidly progressive glomerular nephritis. It's not diffuse hypercellularity. That's post treptococcal glomerular nephritis or lupus. It's not IgA deposition. That's IgA nephropathy. That would have recurrent hematuria after a URI. And it's not no abnormalities, right? There's That'd be like minimal change disease or something like that. And that's in kids with, or maybe Hodgkin's lymphoma, NSAID use, that kind of stuff. So no, our answer is involving rheumatoid arthritis, amyloid deposition, beta pleated sheets, and it's going to be that deposition of amorphous material. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe, share it with your friends, go outside and touch some grass. We'll see you in the next video.